What's going on everybody? Benji Kaiser here today talking about the Asus Republic of Gamer Strix 2. This computer has the RTX 2070 by Nvidia and so I'm excited to walk through this review and see if this computer is right for you. Alright, if you're a graphic designer, video editor, motion designer, photographer, you're in the right place. I think this computer is a fantastic build, really powerful, and a small package with a big punch as far as a 15-inch computer is concerned. So, I appreciate you being here. A little bit about me, I'm Benji Kaiser. I run this channel for graphic designers either getting started or trying to maximize their career in the graphic design industry. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, hit that like button, you're in the right place. If you're interested in this computer or the different models that are associated with it, as you're going through this video, head down into the description below, grab one of those links, check it out, see if it's the right fit for you. Those are affiliate links and it will give me a small commission, but at no extra cost to you, which is what keeps this channel alive and these helpful videos coming your way. This video is sponsored by Computer Upgrade Kings. They supplied us with this Asus Strix 2. And so you can also get a discount code BEN3. It'll give you a discount on the Asus Strix 2 or any machine over at Computer Upgrade Kings. All right, let's jump into the content. We're gonna look at four areas, experience, usability, performance, and build quality. First thing I wanna talk about is the experience of the machine. So when I pulled it out of the box, I was really impressed. I love that aluminum top cover, love that glowing Asus symbol as you're working, kind of gives that feel. That bar on the front, I think it's super cool. It's not very obnoxious. Uh, it's, it kind of projects down rather than up, so it's not like shining in your face all the time, but if you do end up not wanting it on all the time, you can either dim it or turn it off within the control settings. So I just think this computer has a really good vibe about it, and it's, it's one of those really cool curb appeal computers. It's got a lot to it. Um, next, we as we head into the machine, you got a carbon fiber top cover, really smooth keyboard. I think it types very well. It's quiet, smooth, good key travel. One thing that I'm not stoked about is that thick bezel at the bottom. Now they do that to put the webcam down there and because they don't have the webcam up top. Um, I just, I don't think it looks just as nice as it could, but that's just, that's just my thing. Now the screen has a really strong refresh rate at 144 Hertz. It's got amazing color accuracy at 90% RGB. If you're curious about kind of color accuracy, basically 100% can see all the color gamut of RGB. 90% uh, can see almost all of it. So that's kind of how they rank color accuracy. So if you're a video editor, photographer, motion designer, and you need really good color accuracy, this is a great computer for you. All right, the next thing I wanna talk about, and this is something that I've never personally had a problem with, but a lot of people get super, they rage over this, the fan noise. I've never been got, no, I've never been upset with the fan noise. I wear headphones or listen to music or just listen to the fan. I'm, I'm not really all that concerned, but people don't like it. And I'm gonna warn you that this does have some fan speed. Now, even in idle, the fan kind of turns on when you're doing just basic tasks like on the internet or you know, doing some uh, Word docs or writing notes in class. So if you're gonna use this machine in that setting, it might be a little embarrassing for you. Um, so just something to keep in mind. Now, as you use that machine a little heavier, fan speed starts to pick up, starts to cool the machine. There's a lot of power in this laptop, and so that fan noise is gonna be there. That's the gist of it. You've been warned, there is fan speed. Right, the next thing I wanna move into is usability. So what are you gonna be using this computer for? Is this the right computer for you on your day-to-day -day life? Now, if you're somebody who's say a student or a freelancer who's always on the go, this is a great machine. 15 inches, packs a big punch, and it weighs in at about 5.4 pounds. Not too heavy. If you wanna get some comparison, my Dell XPS 15, which is a little bit thinner than this machine, is about 4.4 pounds. So only a pound for a lot more power, I could live with that. Next thing I wanna talk about is the ports on the side of the computer. For me personally, I'm using all my ports right now. I use ports like crazy. I have dual screens, I have a mouse plugged in, I have a hard drive, I have a network cable. I got all kinds of stuff going on. This computer has a network jack or an ethernet port. It has a mic jack slash a headphone jack. It has three USB 3.0 slots. It has a USB-C or a Thunderbolt slot, as well as a display port and a HDMI port. So it's got everything you really need and more. Um, so if you want the ports, you're in the right place. Battery life is another concern for a lot of people, especially students. And if you're a student, battery life is, is not this computer's strong suit. You're gonna get three, four hours 
out of this battery. And if you're doing some heavy video editing, it could be even less. So this is not the computer for you if you're looking for battery life. All right, now let's jump into the performance of this computer, something that I know y'all came to this video for. This computer has 32 gigs of RAM, has the i7-8750 CPU. It has the RTX 2070 by NVIDIA. So that's a really strong graphics processing unit. And it has a solid state hard drive. So this computer is really strong in the performance category. Now let's put that into some real life situations and see how it performs. We're going to take a 4K clip, put it into Premiere Pro and export it out at 4K YouTube settings and see how it does. So what you find when you do this export is it will export that clip in seven minutes and 23 seconds. Like I said, there's some fan speed in that process, but it is really fast. Take that same clip, export it out to 1080p YouTube settings, and it does it in two minutes and 14 seconds. I was blown away. That is super fast. When I saw the results on that, I was really stoked. So if you're looking for a fast video editing machine, this is your machine. All right, the next thing I wanna look at is rendering time. So we're gonna render 3,330 frames in Premiere Pro, and it does it in two minutes and 31 seconds, which is also really fast. And you think, okay, well, that's super quick, but what happens if it's like tens of thousands of, or hundreds of thousands of frames? Well, clearly it's gonna take a lot longer, but compared to other machines, like I did a review for the HP Omen versus this machine, it saved almost a minute in time. So on an exponential standpoint, that render time is far faster if you're gonna render 10,000, 20,000, 100,000 frames. So it's a really good GPU. All right, so we talked about fan speed earlier, but what kind of heat are we pushing out on this machine? You know, when you're exporting that 4K clip, what was the temp? Well, when you're, this machine is at idle, it idles at about 35 to 45 degrees Celsius, which is about 105 degrees. When it was exporting that 4K clip, it boosted up to about 85 to 90 degrees Celsius, which is about 180 degrees Fahrenheit, give or take. So it does get hot, it does have that fan speed, just wanted to make you aware of that. All right, now if you're a photographer or if you're somebody who's a graphic designer and working with a lot of photos, I boosted up a raw image file from a Fujifilm X-T2 and I put that up to about two gigs and then I saved it out as full quality JPEG. It took 10 seconds to do that, which is really good. And the reason I boosted it up so high, like why'd you do that? Is because I just want to test, you know, getting a large file into Photoshop, what the response would be, how fast it would, you know, take care of that task. My computer, my Dell XPS 15, does that in like 47 seconds. So that's 10 seconds is super fast. And some of you might say, okay, Ben, you're just like being super salesy in this computer. It's a really good laptop. So whether I'm being salesy or not, you're seeing the specs, you're seeing what this computer can do. I have the evidence here. I think it's a great buy, just saying. All right, so the build quality, that's the last thing I wanna step into. That's one area where you're gonna see me get a little bit, ah, uh, it's great but it's not amazing. I love the Dell XPS 15. I love the MacBook Pro. Those are computers focused on build quality. This computer is focused far more on performance, but it doesn't chintz on the build quality. It has the aluminum top cover, has the carbon fiber key deck, it has a really good smooth keyboard feel, and the polyurethane bottom cover is all put together very well. I know a lot of times polyurethane can feel kind of hollow, clunky, kind of brittle. That's not the feeling I get when I'm holding this computer. It's solid, it's well built. The hinge works very well. There's not too much flex uh, between the hinges in the center. So it's well put together. But like I said, I'm not gonna be all goo goo eyed over the quality because that's not this computer's super strong suit. Now, if you're interested in this computer, head down into the description below, either on Amazon or Computer Upgrade Kings. If you use Computer Upgrade Kings, you can grab that discount code BEN3 and that'll get you a discount on the Strix 2 or any computer on Computer Upgrade Kings. I'm Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com. I appreciate you watching this video today. And if you've liked this, subscribe, hit that like button, give me a comment, whatever it might be. I'm super grateful that you're here today. I'll see you on the next episode.